Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this cool retro movie title intro in After Effects. So let's get into it. So I'm going to create a text layer, right click new, text, and I'm going to type the cursed carnival. And I'm going to align my text in the middle and change the scale of each word, just so it looks better. Yep, that's good. Next I'm going to add a solid, so right click new, solid, make sure my solid is black. Then I'm going to add the Sabre effect to the solid. Sabre is a free plugin from Video Copilot. Click the link below to download it. So select the solid, go over to effect, scroll down to Video Copilot and select Sabre. Make sure this layer is above the text layer. Come over to the effects controls panel and in Sabre under customize core, set the core type to text layer. Then set the text layer to the title we just created. Next, I'm going to set the preset to thin. You can set this to whatever you want for your projects. Then to get the right type of glow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the glow intensity to 22, set the glow spread to 0.09, and I'm going to set the glow bias to 0.45. And then I'm going to set the core size to 0.95. Next, to create that cool line effect, I'm going to set a keyframe on start offset. So click the stopwatch button, and I'm going to put this at 65. Then I'm going to go along 10 seconds in my timeline and set the start offset to zero. Now we have this cool effect going on here, right? Perfect. And next I'm gonna add some flicker to the title. So under flicker, I'm gonna set the flicker intensity to 50 and the flicker speed to 0.9. Next, make sure to select mask randomization. So we have this nice flicker effect going on. Come over to the render settings then I'm gonna set the gamma to 0.8 the brightness to 0.55 and the saturation to 1.5 just add a bit of punch to it i want to add a bit of movement to my tile so i'm going to go and select my text layer and press s for scale and i'm going to set a keyframe at the beginning of my clip i'm going to set the scale to 200 and i'm going to go to nine seconds and set the scale to 150. next i'm going to go to my last keyframe right click select keyframe assistant then select easy ease in perfect next to add some imperfection to the animation i'm going to add some wiggle to the position of this text layer so select the text layer press p to bring up the position alt click on the stopwatch icon and type in here wiggle open parentheses two comma two close parentheses now we have some cool looking organic movement as the text moves into its final position nice what i'm going to do now is pre-compose these two layers so select them both, come over to layer and scroll down to pre-compose or just press Control shift C. I'm going to name this comp main title, press OK. And I want to add some more film imperfection to it. I want to make it look like it's coming out of a film camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some quick chromatic aberration to the pre-comp from Plugin Everything. It's a free plugin, link below to download it. It's a plugin that does exactly what it says it does. It adds quick chromatic aberration to the layer. So once you have the plugin installed, select the layer, click on effect, scroll down to Plugin Everything and select quick chromatic aberration. So going into the effects controls, I'm going to set the position to two and under stylistic, I'm going to set the distort uniform to five. And I'm going to uncheck the repeat edge pixels like so. As you can see, we have this cool film effect on our text right here. But what I want to do is I want to soften this effect just a tiny bit. So I'm going to add some Gaussian blur. So go into effects, type in Gaussian blur, drag this in the effects control panel and I'm going to set the blurriness to five. Nice. Next, I'm going to add some grain. And to do that, I'm going to create it myself within After Effects. So create a new solid, right click new solid, click on color and make sure the color is 50% or gray. Just click here, type in 50 and we should be good to go. Click OK. Select the solids and add the noise effect to it. Type in noise, click drag into the effects control panel. I'm gonna set the noise to 10%, perfect. And now I wanna soften the noise a bit, so I'm gonna add some more Gaussian Blur. Type in Gaussian Blur, drag it into the effects control panel, and I'm gonna set the blurriness to six. Brilliant. Now for the noise and grain to affect the titles only, we need to set the blending mode to overlay. So click here, then select overlay. So right now we have this. Cool. 
Lastly, I want to add a fade out to it, but I want the fade out to end in the middle of the text instead of using the generic opacity fade out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new composition. So go over to composition, select new composition and click OK. Now I want to create a white solid. So right click, new solid and set the solid color to white. Make sure this solid layer is 3D by clicking this box right here. So this little 3D box appears. Next, add a point light. So right click, new light, select point light, click OK. And I'm gonna move this point light so it's roughly within the middle of our frame. Now I'm going to keyframe the intensity of this point light. So go to thebigadon.com, click the twirl down button next to point light and click the twirl down button next to light options. Click on stopwatch next to intensity and I'm going to set this intensity to 250. I want the white to cover as much of the frame as possible. Go along three seconds and set the intensity to zero. And now we have this. Nice. Not finished here. Next, I'm going to set the fall off to smooth and set the radius to 750 and the fall off distance to 800. And now we have the point light going from bright to dark, maintaining that shape as it fades out. Jump back into our main title comp and drag the point light comp below the noise and grain solid and set the blending mode to multiply. I'm gonna click and drag the point light layer to around eight seconds. And if you wanna change the color of the title, go to the effects panel, type in hue, drag it into the effects control panel, and you can change the color like so. And that's it. We now have this cool retro horror title movie effect. My name is Jermaine, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, goodbye.